Welcome back to our 2013 Ford Mustang GT project. Today we're going to continue disassembly of the engine to facilitate the installation of the Stage 3 Roush Performance Supercharger Kit. This is the Eaton Supercharger. So it is driven here off of the pulley system on the front of the engine. This will get mounted directly on top of this intercooler, remove the heat that was created by the supercharger, and condense the air so it's as, as tight as possible. And then there's various kits and components. This is to provide some uh, tension for the belt as it spins the supercharger. There's also a whole new air intake system provided by Roush. We have things like fuel rails and fuel pumps and all sorts of electronic harnesses and hoses that we'll be installing later today. Right now we are installing uh, mounting brackets for the new intercooler for the supercharger. These new mounting points are going to mount to the air conditioning, so we're just installing these so that it will mount very easily. We need to grind some metal off of the engine so that we can attach this pulley. So we're just trying to make sure we understand exactly where we need material and make sure we can get this mounted on the front of the engine. We just finished clearancing the timing cover for all the new pulley system for the supercharger. We want to fit some of those brackets now just to make sure that we clearanced in the right places. There were some differences here in the instruction versus our engine, so we might skip ahead in the manual to go ahead and install those brackets, make sure we didn't forget anything, and there's enough room to actually install the belt. the rear springs and the shocks. The first time we installed the springs, we installed them upside down, and luckily we caught that before we uh, well, like tightened everything down. But so we just flipped them, and now we're installing some of like the bars that keep the suspension stable. We just got the accessory drive belt system installed, just finger tight, so we understand what bolts go where, we understand that we trimmed enough, and we're just trying to get things oriented. I think we're going to go back now and follow the instructions. We're going to probably skip some of the wiring, because that's uh, not something that we can all do as a group. And then we're going to try to get the uh, intercooler installed, and hopefully the supercharger on top of that. So we 
built the subassembly on the bench or on the floor, and now we're realizing that this pulley was installed backwards. So it has blue Loctite on it, so we want to get the Loctite broken free as soon as possible. We'll correct it going the correct way, and then retorque and re Loctite the bolts. So clearly, this is not in the right path as the rest of the pulleys, so we just got it wrong. Unfortunately, this is our last class, and we have to say goodbye to our wonderful students. They all did amazing work and hopefully learned a little something new. Peterson is going to continue to mechanic on this car and, and create the completed product, and we hope to be invited back to see it start up again. I think it was a cool project, and we're really thankful for the Peterson to allow us to do this and allow me to be the instructor. So thanks again. We look forward to hearing it run. Good job, guys.